Hello fellow Slackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got another mail call for you. Now I'm pretty sure this one is from the Stack Collector. And the reason I say that is he actually sent me a photo of him holding the parcel before he sent it. And I'm pretty certain this was the box in the picture that he showed me. Now I'm sure he said there is some stuff from himself in here for me. And there's also an item that the Cranky Stacker has sent on. Now the Cranky Stacker sent the Stack Collector a few different items for the Stack Collector to keep some himself and forward other bits and pieces onto some of the other UK creators. So first of all, I want to say thank you very much to Stack Collector for putting this in your vault in the Stack Collector Storage Solutions. Thank you very much for looking after it for me. Thank you very much, Cranky, for sending it in the first place. And also thank you, the Stack Collector, for the other bits that you said that you've also sent me in here. Really, really exciting. This is my second PO Box mail call on the channel. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to make a little bit of room here. I need to, I need to move some of these items back, really. So I've got a little bit more space to work with. So let's get straight into it and let's see what we've got now. Ah, here we go. This is going to be the easiest way to open it from the bottom, I think. Really nicely packaged, nice and secure. Now the stack collector was so quick in dispatching this. It was literally the same day that I announced I had a PO box. This was literally winging its way to me, so thank you very much. Wow, look, I can already see some bits and pieces in here. Wow, what have we got? So let's get, wow, look at this, it's like a treasure chest. So we have the famous Stack Collector's sticker here. Really, really cool. This is the version two of his design. For those of you that have been following his channel for any length of time will know that his first logo was very similar to this one. But he's actually done an upgrade on it. Really, really nice. Really, really smart looking sticker there. I need to work out what I'm going to do. The original plan was to have some sort of backdrop where I can put everyone's stickers. But I don't think it will really work because, one, I haven't got that much room at the back. And two, there's lots of things in the way. So if I had a board at the back with people's stickers, over time, some of them would be hidden behind different things when I change my display around. So I'm thinking about doing it a little bit differently. I'm thinking about either getting a big folder. Silverstruck does this. I'm pretty sure Silverstruck has a huge folder where he documents the things people have sent him and puts the date on there and the channels and all the stickers and everything like that in a folder. So that is an option. Or the other option is I'm thinking to get one of my monster boxes out of storage, take all the tubes out of it and just have the, the monster box and inside that monster box have different individual bags where I can put the items that people have sent me. So I almost kind of keep it all together. And then once in a while, say once every month or so, I'll get the box out and I'll go through it all. And that's my kind of way of showing off the channels that have sent me things and stuff like that. So that's another option as well. But yeah, I need to work out what I'm going to do. But let's get back into this. So we've got some stack collector stickers here. Oh, I've got quite a few of these. Thank you very much. Let's get these dotted around. Let's set the, the theme of today's video. There we go. Right, so where do we start? I don't even know where to start. Okay, so we've got a nice letter here. And I've seen how the stack collector sends these to other people. This is actually one of those wax stamps. Really, really cool. It's like a letter to Hogwarts. It feels like I'm going to Hogwarts next week. Look how he's done the letter. It's burnt the edges, looks like a treasure map. Really, really cool. Now, I believe this is Cranky Stacker's local coin shop. And he would like me to give this coin shop a shout out. So Millard Jewellery and Coins. You can see you've got the address details there. If you're, you're near there in the US, please do pop in. Say hello to them, say that Cranky Stacker sent you there so that's really really cool we'll also pop that up there so it's in today's video 
Now let's have a look. Right, so I think we should do the letter first. Look at that, really, really cool. It's one of those letters you don't really want to open because you don't want to damage this really cool wax seal. I'm gonna try and do it as careful as I can. There we go. Wow, look at that. What a cool rustic feel it's got. So it says, hey 365, I'm so glad to finally be able to send you these across to you. Firstly, there's the bits from Cranky, but I've also popped a few bits from myself too. I just wanted to say thank you for all the help and guidance you have given me. You really are a pillar in our community. Keep up the amazing work. All the best, TSC. Cabbage Spider, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. For those of you that watch my videos to the end and your long-term subscribers, you will understand that inside joke. Really, really cool. Absolutely great. Look at that letter. So much effort has gone into that to make it have this rustic feel. Look, I think he's actually burnt it himself. I don't think he's brought it like this. He's actually made this himself by burning the edges. Really, really cool. Thank you very much, TSC, for writing me that nice letter. Right, so this is what he said he sent me for my pack drop. Really, really cool. I don't know how he knows that I like whiskey, because I don't often mention whiskey on the channel, so that's very strange. Really cool. My own hip flask. Now, he said this was for the backdrop of my videos, but I feel like it's more suited to be kept in my jacket pocket at all times. Really cool. Thank you very, very much. Let's find a space for that in the backdrop. There we go. And I could probably fill that with like an emergency whiskey. So at the moment, I've actually run out of whiskey. So maybe when I get my next bottle, I'll fill that up first and then I'll forget that it's got whiskey in it. And then when we have a video like today where I've actually got no whiskey to drink, I've got some backup whiskey. So yeah, really cool. Thank you very much. Now we've got these two items here as well. Let me just make sure there's nothing I'm going to miss in here. No, let's get this out of the way. Right, so... Ah, this is really cool. So this is actually from the stat collector himself. Really cool. He actually asked me which 50p I was missing from my collection. And I wasn't too sure which ones I was missing. So I resent him the videos of my 50p collection. And he actually went through them to work out which ones I was missing. So thank you very much, not only for sending me this, but also for re-watching those videos and working out which ones I was actually missing. Really cool capsule. I haven't seen a capsule this size before that fits 50p so nicely. And you can see 2017. And it is a Tom Kitten design. Really, really nice design. This will be great to add to my 50p collection. I believe these are quite hard to get hold of as well. I don't see many Tom Kitten 50ps when I watch videos of people doing coin hunts and things like that. So the stack collector, thank you very, very much. I need to dig out my 50p album and then I can add that to it. So this is cool. This is a Royal Mint packaging and he's reused it to send me things. So that's quite cool. And let's see what we have here. I'll tell you what, let's open it properly. Here we go, wow, okay, so, wow, look at that. So this is a crown, and I believe this is from the stat collector himself, from his own collection. Really, really cool. 1889, and look at the colour on that. That is amazing. It's so nice to see silver go in this colour. Some people don't like it. Some people like the, the kind of newer stuff that's shining. Don't get me wrong, I do really like the newer silver that has got this nice shine. But at the same time, when you get a, a coin that's this kind of years old and it's got this history behind it, it's so nice to have a coin that has naturally turned to this kind of toning effect, this tarnishing. Just adds to the kind of rustic feel of the coin. And look at that. Really cool. I really like these blemishes. It really adds to 
the kind of vintage feel of the coin. Absolutely gorgeous, and I believe this is a one crown. You'll have to educate me a little bit more, the stat collector, in the comment section, so I'm not too up to date with my older circulated coins, but the design looks amazing. Really, really nice quality. To think how old this is, let me just lock it on, there we go. And look at the design. Absolutely fantastic. George and the dragon there. Slaying the dragon. Absolutely gorgeous coin. So thank you very, very much. Like I said, this is actually from the Stat Collector's own collection. So this will be cherished. Added to my deep stack. It will also be on my YouTube stack for a while as well. So I can showcase it some more. This will be one of those coins that stored in the capsule until I showcase it. So thank you very much. And this final coin here is the one that, that cranky stacker has sent. Absolutely gorgeous round. This is a round from Scottsdale Mint. And for those of you that watched my unpackaging mail call from Mr. Kiwi a few days ago, you'll see that he also sent me one. And like I said in that video, these are kind of like buses when you don't see any of them around for a while. And then suddenly now I have two in my stack. And it's very, very hard. Those of you that live in the UK will know this. It's very hard to get hold of these rounds because they're a fairly new release from Scottsdale Mint. There's not many of them that have made their way over here in the UK. I'm struggling to get this out of the capsule. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous round. These are probably one of my new favourite rounds. Really, really nice. I love the way the light shines off them. Absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. Ride for the brand, Scottsdale Mint. What a gorgeous one ounce silver round. Four nines fine silver. So the purest you're going to see silver in bullion form. Really, really nice. So Cranky Sacker, thank you very, very much for sending this across to me. Thank you to Stack Collector for looking after it for me. Again, huge shout out to Cranky's local coin shop. Please do head in there if you live near there. Let them know 365 and the, the Cranky Stacker mentioned the company. Really cool. And like I've shown you at the beginning, you've got the Stack Collector's stickers there as well. Now I've also rotated the barrel in the back so you can see the stack collector on there this is a list of all the channel members on here and you can see that i positioned it so that you can see the stack collector as this video is all about the stack collector there's also the cranky stacker on there as well so you can see just there the cranky stacker there we go. Cranky Stacker. He's also a 365 Club member, so thank you very much. Fantastic mail call. Thank you both very, very much. Very, very generous. And like I said, this is the second mail call from the P.O. Box, so you're very, very efficient with sending out your, your parcels to Stack Collector. A last look at these gorgeous pieces of silver. As always, thanks very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much for all the support and I hope you have a very nice day.